Hello everybody and welcome back to It's the Name Plays Monster Train. We've been on uh we've been trying and trying at this Covenant Rank 5 and we just haven't broken through yet, but that doesn't mean we're gonna give up trying. Now we, we have tried as the Hellhorned. I think I I wanna say we have tried as the Awoken, and we just tried and failed as the Umbra. Um, I can confirm that with run history here. Let's see. Yeah, we just tried as Umbra and Hellhorned. Oh, and Umbra again. And uh, as the Awoken before that. So we've, we've tried a few combinations already that haven't quite worked out for us. So I think it's time we, uh, we try out one of the last few here and then see what we can do with that. Maybe we'll do a, a Stygian run on this one. Who works best with Stygian, I wonder? Do we, we maybe want some strong tanky units to go out front of our spellcasters? Let's try that out. This doesn't start us with any um, targeted damage unless we happen to draw some in our starting, these starting ones, but we didn't. No, oh, actually, yeah, we did. <laughs> we got these targeted spells. Um, we're going to cleanse debuffs. Okay. That kind of hurts the game plan I had, but I think we're going to go for it anyways. That game plan that I had, um, assuming this plays along with me, and it did, was to go Frostbite build. Um, yeah, I think this is good. 25% chance to deal 5 damage when an enemy unit enters the train. That has the chance to just wipe some units out. Um, speaking of, we're going to let some real weak units on board early and see if we can get lucky and knock a few of them off the train right before or right at the start here we got one really we got one out of all of this okay you know I've heard of a uh, I've heard of streamer luck and I thought that was supposed to mean that the streamer or youtuber gets uh gets lucky more often than not, but so far, <laughs> not really seeing it. Um, so he's gonna die for sure, which is bad, but this will also get them all killed, which is good. Let's do this, now they're all, they're all dead. And let's go ahead and target you. And we do have enough room to block. So that's actually really solid. He'll die, but we don't mind that as much. Yeah, Frostbite takes them all out. You. Let's hit you as hard as we can here. And now you, you're taken care of. We'll give uh, you a heal since that's all we can really do. Start applying some spell weakness to you. How's this looking? We don't want you to survive, but I'm not sure we can do much about that. Yeah, that's not taking you down far enough. Sadly, can't do anything about you either. So we're better off just setting up here. I don't know if we have a better damaging spell right now. Yeah, none yet. Although, wait. This plus... How much frostbite do you do? Two? Oh. Uh, I don't think you take... I think you take one for each frostbite, so I don't think you'll die. Yeah, one damage for each stack. Okay. Okay, so this is probably your best bet. This, uh, this deck is a bit weak at the moment. Just, we have some very uh, low health units. 
take that guy out. And do that. And... I mean, that doesn't move... change things much. But I mean, with him doing 5 damage, we couldn't really change things. This will at least apply uh, Frostbite. This is our only damaging spell, so... <laughs> sure. And again, these are applying Frostbite, so that's... That's why we're casting it. And now it's up to the Pyre. Well, we did take some damage there, but honestly, not too bad, cons all things considered. And, um... Really looking for frost damage, or frostbite spells. We already have two of these, so... We do, we do gain uh, from having a damaging spell. We already have this, obviously. Similar story. Hmm. Is this good enough to pick up another? I think not. That's not a great starting draw either. We could get a unit. It's a woken unit. Uh, here we can grab a Stygian unit at least. And here. But more uh, more than that, we need some uh, Stygian spells. Okay. I was really hoping for a tank unit here. And we got a sweep unit and a quick unit. So the game's not really playing my game right now. We'll take the quick one. It's the opposite of a tank. Like, literally as far from a tank as you can get, but... That's okay. For now. We could give the frost unit uh, armor whenever we cast, but I don't think that's worth much. This makes her tankier, and also, you know, her quick attacks deal a lot of damage. Honestly, like, I think for right now, this will really get us through the early game and then we can kind of pivot from her into our actual build as we go as we add cards I'm willing to turn stuff on we want to really start scaling hard here like we had some bad luck with our earliest pickups so now we need to really scale you give spikes, huh? Putting him out, he will die to these... Well, they only have two spikes. So he won't die to the, those spikes. He'll die to the next spikes, probably. Um, I can cast this, so I might as well... Nah, it doesn't matter. Well, actually, she's got armor, so yeah. Put it on her. And then we'll put that guy up there. Oh, I was like, why did that unit die? And it's because of this. Which is nice. So we might as well put one here. Might as well put one up here. You're dead because of the spikes. And we can't really stop the spikes from killing you. You are not dead yet. No. Oh, spell weakness. That's why she died. Okay. So she's going to definitely be our, our carry here. So let's hit her with spell weakness and that. And then we'll give you a heal. I'd like to put something in front of her. Not exactly what I was hoping for, but I guess can't be beggars, can't be choosers. Try and kill you early so that 
she, yeah, well, she'll kill him right away. Unfortunately, it's not as... Oh, he's already dead, so... It's fine. Wanted to take care of the unit at the back so that the spikes wouldn't kill us while we were attacking. And that ended up working out, so... Hooray us! Um, I think I'll take Offering Token. This is pretty nice, like it's nice damage. But I think this enables the Offering ability, so we'll, we'll get it first. And I'll take Glimmer. Oh boy. We wanted Frostbite or we wanted a tank. So naturally we got none of those things. <laughs> We got rage. And this unit, I mean, this debuffs rage. So I guess we'll take the multi strike unit for some damage. You know, sometimes. Apply spell weakness when enters the unit below the pyre room. I mean, the floor below the pyre room. This is nice, because we are going to be spending a lot. It might make the difference between being able to upgrade something and not a few times. So it's actually a pretty valid argument for it. But this could really save our life if we need a Hail Mary big spell at the end. He's kind of a tank. I mean, you're supposed to use him to tank, but I, I think anyways. <laughs> But he loses that when he gets hit, obviously. I mean, not when he gets hit, when you cast spells, which is what we're going to do. But he's literally the tankiest thing we've got now, so... I'll take it, I guess. This is an amazing... It's kind of a crummy event, because these all purge themselves from our deck. This... This could just be kill a boss, although then you'd save it for the end boss. Bridge. Apply three times the spell sheet or damage shield. Or deal 10x damage. I think that'll be good with our spell weakness. That'll potentially do a lot of damage once and then be purged from our deck. Making that event a literal one enemy kill. Okay, they explode on death. As long as we get something out front, we can we can handle that. <clears throat> Lucky that those exploded when they did. And then that's nothing new. So okay. Our tank in the front. Our champion in the back, and we'll go ahead and... I kind of want to put the um, the quick unit here, actually. So I'm going to put... Although the quick unit is kind of tanky, so she could probably stand to be up on her own. Okay, I talked myself into doing this. Might as well... Ah, uh, shit, that actually drains the health. And it lowers his max health, so that heal does nothing. And this is why this is why that's not a good tank. In case you needed to need me to explain that to you. Oh yeah. So let's not cast this on that floor. Go ahead and dump the dead weight. Put you up here. Give you a little blocker. And then sure, might as well deal two damage to the boss. It's not a ton, I know, but... We would have lost five more health from our quote-unquote tank if we uh, hadn't done that. Hmm. This is interesting. This will do five damage and remove... I mean, it'll remove 5 damage, but it'll at least prevent uh, 10, and we get a draw out of it, so it's a little better. I think 
We don't mind putting you in the back there. Let's apply spell weakness to this guy. And then we might as well give you a little top up. And then sure. Although I, I'm... Oh no, we're not going to be able to fit another unit. Once she's dead, which shouldn't take too long to happen, we'll maybe want to put a train steward out front of our champion. It's nice that those keep blowing up. So, this guy's dead regardless, and then she's dead, and he's taking one. So instead, let's just do that and cause all the damage there. You're gonna die, but let's kill you a little quicker. And now you are dead. Apply some more spell weakness here. We do have this spell, and this one, obviously, that can kill him. Or, you know, can hit, hit him pretty hard with the spell weakness. So we don't want to pop it with anything else. Um, and she's already dead to this. So let's just put a... Although I, I was planning on using a train steward. Oh, we got one, mo one more to block down here once that guy's gone. Oh, it's the dang exploding units that's causing these guys to take hits. Okay, on this floor, let's ditch that. We could do this. It'd probably kill this and then do some damage to him. But I think we're better off waiting and adding more spell weakness and then hitting him when there's not something like that waiting around, which will just die anyways. Applying a heal to this unit seems pretty bad, as we've learnt, so let's just heal this guy, I guess. And, uh, pass turn. So you're 9 out of, is that 11? 15. Okay. Well, we're going to draw a card here. And then we can do 30. It's not, a, it's not amazing, honestly. But, screw it, let's get it out of our deck. I think we save the spell weakness for something a little bit more impactful than that. It caused some frostbite, but not an amazing amount. He's dead now, though. We definitely discard the train steward. There. Okay, we're still we're still rolling, but because of the way things are going, I, I'm losing faith in this the success of this run. Uh, draw three spells and enhance them with consume plus twenty magic power and zero cost. Okay, maybe there's something to that. I think we gotta lean into our spell weakness, but this is the tank we've been waiting for. She's three, he's three, so I think we do benefit from this. Granted, we're not necessarily gonna put him in front of her, but we, you know, we want to uh, to be able to fit our units wherever it makes sense. I would like to go get this Stygian unit, but we do need to start upgrading our spells, because they're kind of our bread and butter right now. Your Merchant of Trinkets. This will be a good time to upgrade its spells, actually. Because I don't think we'll be having enough money to make that worth it. So maybe we do go this way right now. Hope for a good Stygian unit. I wouldn't consider any of these units particularly good. I guess I'll take this guy. He's slightly tankier. And we'll make him 
Well, we should probably focus on this guy for now. Multi-strike getting extra 10 damage is very good. We could even make her quick, and I do kind of like that. But these are some kind of old strategies that we're really hoping to do us some good. Uh, and I'm not I'm not too confident. <laughs> we want to give him more health, I think. What was the other option? Oh. We can make it so that he gets four armor. It's not great, but I think it's a little more like, it's a little better on him than it is on basically any other in unit. I'll give this guy some, some damage, since we usually play it at the back and it'll survive a while. We do want to cut a couple of these guys now. So I'm thinking we go this way, that way we get the sweep effect, and we get spell weakness, and uh, we apply frostbite to everybody. It's just it's pretty solid uh, ability in general, although I guess the sweep doesn't really help against bosses too much. We can't afford to put that one on. We're not going to kill units in one floor here, not usually anyways. So when that happens, it's pretty nice. You are giving haste. And we do not have a way... Oh, we do have a way to kill you, so... That's fine. Let's do that right now. And then because we can, we don't need this right now. So I'm inclined to put um, this... Well, I'm inclined to put this out front of him right now. And I'm also inclined to put the incant gain armor unit maybe just behind this guy. This guy will act as a tank until the guy behind gains enough armor to be worth uh, having as a tank. So I think I want to play her on the second floor and then put the other tank unit in front of her. Although I can see an argument to be made for... Hold that thought. You have spell weakness. So we can we can glimmer up there and kill him. I think that's what we do. Although we could also do this and hope to draw a... Uh, nah, we just do this. So, glimmer kill. Yeah, there's an argument to be made for having the incant stuff on this floor because we're going to apply spell weakness down here. But I think we'll apply we'll be using spells down here enough to to counter that argument. Up here we're basically going to use spells to just try and hopefully finish things off, whereas down here we're going to be a little more liberal with our use. So do that. Might as what else do you do? Just haste or do you do more? Just haste and one damage, so actually we don't need to use this. Um I'm thinking for the health of this thing we might want to keep it around. Although it is giving him uh armor every time. So that's a good enough argument for me. Ah, I would like to fit this on this floor. We have to wait for him to, to die. It's not going to take too long, so I'm not too worried about it. <clears throat> Let's spell weakness the guy who's going to survive. This seems like a pretty good use of that. I'm surprised he survived, but now he's not going to. None of them are, so let's just hit this guy with a spell so that he gets stronger. Okay, so we did lose the front unit. Um, since we don't need... We don't need... Oops, this right now. Although we could cast it for free. 
So instead, let's get rid of this. Deal three damage. Can we cast this without anything around? Ah, dang! It does need a target. But we want to we want to give this guy some health back. And then we'll do this just to give him some armor. He would have gained four armor, so I guess we could have tried to hit him with a vine grasp. Yeah. Technically that would have healed him for one. It's not amazing, obviously, but it's something. I think this is the a good time for this. We made these very playable. He's already dead. That feels pretty good though. And this guy this guy got reasonably tanky by this point, but I mean can we expect to get that amount of spells out every time? I'm not sure. Apply one armor to friendly units. We could consider putting this in the same row as that guy. But it really just adds one to his four every time we cast, and it takes up a, a whole capacity. I like this. I know descends can be really good, but I don't, I'm not sure that this is our play right now. I like this because it pays for itself. It heals our, uh, it can be used to trigger incant on our shark or it heals our other tank so it's just a decent pickup although the three card monty thing would be good but three cards next turn and it consumes so it's just one time so i just figured we'd go this way are we better off going here first Probably. There's a chance that that cavern gives us, uh, gives us, and we'll probably want to do that. What am I saying? Oh, there's a chance it gives us the ability to duplicate, and if that's the case, we're going to want to have something worth, worth doing that to. Um, we don't have enough to really... I mean, we could do this and then afford two upgrades. I'll do it. Losing it on that's okay, I guess. This isn't like this is an amazing upgrade, but being able to do more damage with these spells would be nice. I like that a little bit. I also like that a little bit. And also like that a little bit. But I'm going to go with this one. It's an interesting spell. Alright, what do we get here? This could be... Oh. I don't know if I've seen this before. Oh, yes I have, because I, I picked this one last time. Minus one capacity on each floor. Um, plus one capacity on each floor. Plus three on a random floor. But this one gives us 15 magic power. Is that enough to be excited about? I think we can try it, considering we're, we're kind of a damage, or a spell damage based deck. Mostly. It does hurt a couple of our, or change anyways, a couple of our setups, but I think that's acceptable. Spikes, hey? Why is it always gotta be spikes? Spikes would hurt, would kill her, would kill our champion. That's, oh, it'd kill him too. That's about it, but also that's, you know, half of our our units, 
or that they're worth anything anyways. That's most of our damage. The reward is an artifact? I don't think we can do it. It's a bad sign that uh, that I'm finding us in this situation. Now... Hmm. We could put her down and him... Yeah, I think that's our second floor. And you're our first floor, but I don't want to put them down unless this draws some good stuff out. I wouldn't call this amazing. Did a good amount of damage to him. Fuck. <laughs> what luck. We needed one targeted spell to kill this guy. Or, you know, one more damage spell to kill this guy. Oh well. No champion on that round. It hurts, but... That's okay. These guys are very dead. I'm gonna take six. So we... Summon you. Let's put you out front to give time to rejuvenate this guy. Sadly, we have not given him any armor though, so we do need to focus on casting spells up there. We didn't leave room for this, so we'll put this down here. Or maybe we'll put you up top. Why? I don't know. Why not? There we go. Give us some armor and get some killing done. Oh, someone had sweep. Yeah, this guy's got sweep, so... Our champion would have been dead to him anyways. Does kind of mean that we whiffed on not taking the trial, because the units that are going to die are going to die to sweep anyways. That would have died to the spikes, that is. I think we want to use this down here. Why is this healing 27? I thought it would only heal... How many times did I upgrade that card? Oh, right, right, right. We took the plus 15 magic power. Duh. So these are actually doing significantly more than before. Yeah, I like that. Sure. Sure. Now he's dead and they're not taking hits at all. Might as well. Hey, we've got enough room to fit him in behind. Let's, uh... Oh, you have 15 max. I was going to say, let's kill him off, and then we can fit the other thing in front, but maybe now we don't. Yeah, he's already pretty full health, that is. So let's just cast to give this guy. This does 18 damage, so now we don't definitely don't want to cast it on him. I could cast this, but then we shuffle through whatever we make strong, so I don't know if I want that. Eh, that's fine. Do that just for the armor. And then we have a chance of drawing those back, so... And we did for this one. You're not taking a ton of damage. Also have no spell weakness on you, which is annoying. I was hoping we could draw zero cost spell weakness, but now we did. Of course, why would we draw it in the other order where it would be really nice? Drawing it at all was kind of a 
a long shot, so it's just kind of funny that we drew it after we needed it. This has a lot of potential, and it did draw out this very strong spell, so easy win on, on the end there, or easy finish. Ooh, I have long, every time I've seen this, I've been like, this has potential, and we just haven't been able to make it work. But now, finally, is the time, I think. And I think this is also really good with adding 15 magic power. Those are going to do 20 damage each for zero. And they give us plus one draw for the next round. So that's super solid. We could go that way for the sake of duplicating something. What would we want to duplicate, I hear you ask? That's a very fine question. Very fine indeed. That's pretty interesting now. I think we want to go the other way and get more health on this guy and more health on this guy. That's maybe the, our best option. Also, you know, getting a little extra cash, a little health back to our pyre. We definitely want this. He he really needs some health to uh, to start out. As much as that would have been kind of nice, but I think he just needs the health. And kind of astounded to see that uh, we didn't get a single health item on that reroll. That's a bit of a shame. I guess we're gonna give this thing multi strike. So unless it, the enemies have sweep or uh, or spikes, that'll actually do some real damage, potentially. We'll save the rest of our cash, though it's not very much. Uh, we have the scourge. Got to deal with that scourge. Those scourge cards. This deck is still, I think it's still a bit subpar, but it's not far from being something good. We're going to do 6 damage. Hmm. So our setup last time, and I think was it was a decent setup, was a little like this. Um, I wouldn't mind casting on this floor to give him the incant, but I think we just want to put this right on the boss. And yeah, unfortunately we're taking some damage here, but... What's okay. Uh, okay, we need her behind here. And, um... I did like this last time. The way it works is, you know, just tanks until he gets nice and healthy. And then since we have the space, I guess we'll put one up here. Our champion sweeping those those guys out of the out of existence is super nice for us. It's too bad we can't fit this guy anywhere now. On account of our our capacity being just a bit too small for it. Uh, she's not even on the right floor for this guy to get the encant trigger. But we could still do this. Sure. Keep stacking our spell weakness on the boss. This unit is going down soon, so we need this guy to be healthy, and he's getting there, that's for sure. Uh, so yeah, we'll start with this. On this floor, I think we really like that, and we really like that. And you're dead before you get to attack, so I don't really feel the need to cast any more on you, but at the same time... I'm not going to use this on the boss and break her spell weakness, so let's just do that. I, I, you're not getting a whole lot of uh, 
armor off of this. This seems fine. And of course, we can do that. This is something I'm okay with casting here, of course. And then I think this is a pretty solid choice. If it hits him once, it kills him. Nice, and then it kills the other guy. Okay. The fact that we cleared the entire uh, train of enemy units is quite nice. Okay, he's gonna die. We can try instead to use that health for something better. Oh, that will pop the spell weakness, so we don't want to do that. This could pop the spell weakness, but at the same time, we're kind of like, I guess that's that's still our best option, maybe. Why did we draw so many times? I don't know. I'd like to get rid of these, obviously, but we can only afford to play one of them. And if we do that, we can't play a lot of what we have here. Still, I think it's worth preserving our uh, our pyre, and we preserve the uh, spell weakness we're stacking up here. I can do this to get three zero-cost spells, so I'll do that. This gives us options. That seems alright. We didn't prevent him from taking any damage, but he's quite healthy now, so I think that's okay. Got spell weakness... go away. Spell weakness 10 now, so they're gonna take 11 times whatever we hit him with. This procs every time times 11 so like <laughs> we got a little math to do here so 16 times 5 is 50 plus 30 so 80 um, and then 80 times 11 is 880 uh, so it's you know it's not enough to kill her per se but it's a lot of damage but I guess we can keep stacking until we have like a one shot. This doesn't count as casting, does it? No, I don't think it gave him any armor. You're gonna take a hit, so let's give you a heal. This one pays for itself, so it's a good choice. This is zero cost, so that's a good option. We'll give ourselves some more armor though with it. And then I'll just do that. Dealing nice chunks of damage out there, that's good. Alright, apply that. Let's give him one of those, prevent some damage here. Taking five. It's not obviously not bad. There. Couldn't do anything about that one. Don't have the energy for it. I think with one. Ah, uh, okay. We can do this. 35 times 3 times. How many we have now? 13? It's quite a bit of damage. Oh, and then we can also do that, of course. Let's see what we draw out of here. Gosh. <laughs> Alright, we, we're not casting that in all likeliness. Likeliness, likelihood. This pays for itself again, so we don't mind doing that. This could potentially get us a good spell. I th Like, I'm... Almost positive from our recent game that each tick, like each one of these five, is going to be multiplied by 14. 
So that makes this do quite a bit of damage. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we one-shot her. Well, basically one-shot her. She did take some damage throughout the match. Um, both of these are quite nice. 36 three times, or sorry, 36 plus 15 because of this. And that's times three. So that's quite a bit of damage. But then also being able to restore the health of our... Um... Yeah, let's go with the damage spell. I think we'd be silly not to. I think we would like to do this just because we do have a lot of one units that we'd like to fit into our floors. And, I mean, we, we gave up the capacity last time, so now we're just... Getting it back. Um, we don't have a ton of gold. But I still think maybe going this way makes more sense. We really need our spells are our biggest thing. Um, we don't need you guys, though. They're not even worth casting. Excuse me. I think that's quite nice. The more we can apply spell weakness, the better, so I like that. Don't mind that at all, but like that even more. I should get like a calculator out for all this. I know it's a little um, silly. But I, I've been out of school for a while, and I got excuses. I don't need to. I don't need to impress you guys. Uh, so this would be 130 damage if we upgrade that versus this one. If we upgrade it, it's gonna be. So that says 38 plus 25, which is, then times that by three, 189 damage. Um, so that one's more damage, actually. Though if we get this another upgrade, like another plus 10 after that, then it starts to really, really blow up. This one, I think we need... Um, we need to make it cost one less, but I think we can we can stand to, uh, to do this combo. That's pretty nice. And now we have five gold, so we will... Move along. Okay. Stygian Spike. What's that do again? Uh, it does apply Frostbite, but we've kind of given up on our Frostbite ideas. Um, but it also applies Sap, which is nice. What else do we have, though? Friendly units with plus three times whatever, but then also they burn out, so they die in a single turn. We don't really like that. Rage and armor. We do like the armor on uh, on our one unit who gains armor, so, I mean, that'd be kind of nice. Or rage on the unit who attacks three times that we barely use. <laughs> Sapping the enemy units. He's going to remove sap. He'll also remove Rage, but he won't remove Armor, so I guess we'll go with that one. <laughs> Even if we cast it for one on that unit who incants and gains Armor, it'll still give him the Armor from the incant as well, so... We could even cast it for zero and just give him the Armor that way. And I'm a little torn, because... We started here, so we could go back to this. But, like I said, we really aren't getting uh, a lot of spell week or a lot of frostbite done, so we might just be better off going ham on the old radio. Ham radio, get it? Going ham on the spell weakness. Just got a message here, real quick. 
Okay, what are we going to take? This is probably the safer bet. We're probably going to... No, never mind. That's the safer bet. <laughs> I think the spell weakness is better against bosses, and the frostbite is better against enemies like all the other minions before the boss. Yikes. This is the second to last uh, fight here. Okay. I think we need the money, because we really need to upgrade a lot of cards to win this whole uh, whole run here. Uh, so this is going to cause our pyre to take some damage. That's almost guaranteed. She's quick. But they blow up. They will kill her. Ay, caramba. These two together on the bottom floor does leave... Well, we could kind of do a full bottom floor setup. I don't hate it. Kill that guy off real quick there. Now we're just leaving our pyre to take a buttload of damage from those units. Yikes. Hopefully we draw something like Glimmer to take these guys out. We did not draw Glimmer. So you have to go here. This draws and replaces itself with uh, energy-wise, I mean. I do like spell weakness, so I think we'll keep it and discard that. And then we'll hit you with this. We need to heal him up because he's on his own otherwise. We're going to need to kill this guy next time, but because he's got two spell weakness on him already, I think we're going to be fine. Uh, we're going to find ourselves totally able to do that. Yeah, that's going to... Youch. Oof. I think we came into this fight with like 110. So, not good. We like this for sure. And I was saying we need this guy dead. This, uh, we should have cast that on the bottom floor, damn it. I was going to say though that that will help make it happen for sure. Is this enough? Yeah, it is. We want this unit dead, so let's pull him forward. Now he's going to die. Sadly, all we can do is hit the front unit here. Why are, oh, because he's out front. I was like, why are we drawing so many cards? That's right. It's sort of the thing he does. That unit doesn't have any damage, so we're fine with, with him surviving. You, we can't have surviving. So we just need to hit you a bunch. And since you're going to take 70, well, you'll take 50 before you even get to attack. So we'd like to do enough to not let you uh, do that. So this is a pretty good way of doing that. Um, this we have here for him. So we can kind of carry out that plan. But first, I think we make this guy weak. And then we hit them with this. It's where I'm thinking we'd go with that. Might as well, it's free. And then, yeah. Give that guy all the armor we can. So. Okay. We can put this guy at the back. Might as well. I think... How's this going? Hmm. 
Interesting. Okay, let's do this, and then we'll decide what we keep. Get rid of that. Oh, although we kind of want to cast this, because it does a lot of damage. I think we kind of mucked that one up. Oh well. Turns out we came out of that all right. A brief respite. Okay. I was going to say we got to cast this one up here because it needs a target, but at the same time, he doesn't have encant, so that doesn't matter too much. But we might as well cast it here because it's free. Then we want to heal a little bit, I think. You are full health, but we're going to just do this, this. Does this need to have a target? Uh, and it has to be an enemy unit, so darn. I guess we'll just do this. And everything here is full health, plus has a lot of armor, so we might as well just heal him up a bunch. No point in casting that. So now, I would really like to get this guy with a uh, spell weakness, if we can. And this is our best way of making that happen. We did get a little bit. Now we have a tough decision. Do we pop that spell weakness now? And I think the answer is yes. We have our highest damage spell right there. And we have zero cost spells that we want to hit him with, so it seemed like a good choice. Plus, every time we cast a spell, we're giving more armor to the tank, buying our rest of our units more time, and now he's dead. So this this turned out all right. I mean, we took a boatload of uh, pyre damage early on, but. In the end, it turned out okay, I guess. Just as long as we can survive against the final unit. Ay caramba. This guy could be good, but I don't know if we can uh, we can fit him. I mean, maybe we fit him instead of the frost unit. Although the frost unit does, uh, does deal 10 times 2, so 20 damage around now. Where is he? This guy, yeah. But he only applies two frost by every time we cast a spell. It's not nothing, but it's not an amazing amount. We Yeah, we couldn't fit another single pip on that floor, and we couldn't fit any more on the middle floor either, I believe. Not with the two three units. Although we didn't have that. We had the... So I think we could have fit him on the the next floor up. So I guess we can fit him in. We might as well. If we can, we might as well. That's what I meant to say. If that's not what it came out as. Rooted obviously won't do anything against the boss, but it would help against non-boss units potentially. Early on, until we get set up, it might help. This is alright too, because it draws extra. But none of this is like super damage spells. I mean, this could be, but we don't have the spikes, so obviously not a super damage spell for us. Then again, every spell we take does make our one spell better. A clone would actually be interesting now, but I think we're going to go this way for the upgrades. We do want to remove, I think. We want to cut any garbage out of our deck. Maybe cut those. Um, I can come back to this, I think. Yeah, I can. Cool. Let's see what we get here. Do we have an X card that would be worth using that with? We have one. 
in that pike or spike sorry but I think that's the only X cost spell we have so no no don't want that this isn't bad because we do like to heal our one unit and card draw is super nice for us this is mediocre but I think we can try we can try for better Um, all cards gain plus one magic power for the rest of the battle. Now, when it says all cards, is that going to be just the cards in your hand or literally your whole deck? Because that could be okay. This can also be really strong. Like, would be really strong if we definitely went, uh, Frostbite build, but we, we very much pivoted away from that. I think we gain more from upgrading our spells than we do from those artifacts, sadly. I think we kind of got a bit unlucky. Um, we did find ourselves unable to cast this, for example. Or even this. We could Making this cost zero is kind of nice, because it makes other things cost zero. I don't, I don't think this is what we want. Although we could put it on our, like, on our crazy damage spell. Where is it? Is it already fully upgraded? Oh yeah, it is, so never mind. Double stack. Could double stack this. It'll give us four spell weakness on the boss. Which is the only unit we're really gonna stack uh, a lot of uh, spell weakness on, just because the, uh, the boss halves debuffs on the rest of the units. I like that. Ooh, I really like this too, though. That makes it um, 50 extra damage. This makes it 30 extra damage. But which one does more damage? Um... We figured out what this one did last time, didn't we? Like, 180? Let's just make them both good. I don't think there's a problem with that idea. And then, yeah, let's make this more affordable. And... We had something worth getting here? Sure. This, like, yeah, some people might be saying I should have gone for this anyways. I could see the argument, but I don't have very much Frostbite. I have it on that guy. And on that. And that's about it. I came, like, I, I picked Stygian with the express intent of using Frostbite to hopefully win this for me. But now we found our, we found ourselves not getting that, so I had to go with what the what the game was giving me. Removal wise, is there something we want out of the deck? I could probably stand to cut at least one of these. These can be, these have utility, so I kind of like keeping them around. This is okay. Honestly, not great. And it doesn't, like, we don't have any offering. So maybe I'll just cut it. And I think that's good enough. We could maybe have afforded to, uh, to cut something, one other card out of the deck, but I think this is fine. We want to keep as many spells that are useful. So now the big question is, can we stop enough units to save our pyre? I think that's the main problem we're going to have. And I think the only way we do that is by getting a good early amount of uh, damage out there. So she's quick, but 
they don't de deal nearly enough damage to get that guy. And none of them can tank him. So this is really what I would call a very bad start. <laughs> we needed a tank. We needed one tank in our hand to, to fit this. I really wanted this guy to be on the bottom floor to get that spell weakness going and get that frostbite going. But we gotta accept what the game's given us. I think she's gotta go up top to deal with any units that get, that get summoned up here. We, we need that card draw, so might as well do that. Put him out here I think is fine. And uh, we'll just kill that guy, though he gets better with Harvest, which is crummy. Shoot. Okay, so we got a tank. That's big news. And we got this to go in front. Also very helpful. We can definitely do that. I would very much like to put this guy down up here, and honestly, I do think it's the better choice. I considered instead using this to, to help kill him, but I think instead of waiting for him to come back around through the deck, we needed to get that out there. I don't know if this is the right time to use this, just because I don't know if we should really risk consuming three of our spells right now before we even it's a tough call this guy's gonna take 20 all right let's do it we got quite the draw I'm not displeased at all let's cast this on this floor we should have cast the uh, the other thing on that floor too honestly Let's see what we can get done to this unit at the front. It's quite a bit. Uh, why does this consume? Oh, because it got hit by our thing. Uh, that's right. Okay. We do want to heal this guy. So I think this is fine. It does 48. And I know we'll break the spell weakness on this guy. Which maybe... Maybe that's bad enough not to do it. But we need to heal him. But we have time. We have literally like one round worth of time. <laughs> Alright, let's do it down here. That'll buy us more time, I think. It's too bad we can't play her right now. We really need her out, but I guess she doesn't fit anywhere anymore. She'll just go down here eventually, and that means she's probably just going to die. With zero mana, we're definitely fine with doing this, although we could wait for it to come back around. He's not in danger yet, so let's, let's wait. We can definitely do this, though. Oh, now you're dead. Huh. <laughs> So we didn't buy our unit a lot of time, unfortunately. She's quick enough that that's dead. And I think we do keep doing this. Cuz that's going to that's going to do a lot of damage. Hit this guy with heals. Because he's low health, we don't want to risk him getting too low. He's only going to take one damage. Oh, but he's got sweep. We need to take that out. And I think killing that unit is good. We do have to watch out for that sweep. If, uh... Although, now I'm thinking, 
if we let the sweep unit kill this off, we leave enough room. Oh no, we don't leave enough room. She's three size, so no, we don't want to let, let sweep happen. Which means we need spells to stop it. I'm like, I want to put this guy here because we want to use some spells here, but I'm thinking maybe now we put him up here so that it's less likely for the sweep unit to get both of them. Uh, let's do this. We got five spell weakness. It's a good start. Okay, you're dead. You guys. You guys we need to we need to hurt. It's getting a little a little dicey pulling all of our spells out like this. That said, that's a good heal. So he's dead. But I think we might be we might benefit from doing this. Yeah. Now do we want to do this? Or do we want to save that to potentially hit the boss with? And I think we save it. We have another floor to, to finish these guys off, so I I'm hopeful that we can make that happen. Uh, yeah. We should be able to, to deal with this. I think how we do it is we... Yeah, you're dead, so that's good. So yeah, we're not fitting her anywhere else. She's going to take a bunch of damage, don't get me wrong. But what are you going to do, right? Uh, let's hit this guy. Sadly, it's the end of him. Although we could give him armor. I don't expect too many more Ember Drain units coming through here. So I feel like he's... I mean, not Ember Drain. Well, they are Ember Drain, but I meant Sweep units. So I feel like our champion's probably safe. Otherwise, I, I feel like giving him armor would probably be very important. But... This gives him enough armor to survive. Let's do it. He does, he does deal damage, so that's actually not bad. And she's not long for this world. Yikes, we really... Oh. Oh yeah, that unit's doing Ember Drain on us. Z we didn't get a single zero cost ability, so... This guy's surviving. Our, our pyre is just gonna have to deal with it. She's dead. Dret. This next turn could really make or break. They have a lot of spell weakness up there, so we have a very high kill potential on them. Like, that easily kills him. So does that. You guys are surviving, and you're dead, so the Ember Drain's not gonna last. Oh, we broke spell weakness somewhere. I don't really know what we did. But... Um, I don't remember what we did to hit him, but unfortunately we did break it. So I think let's let's just go for these kind of spells. Yeah, dealing 522 to him right there was really nice. Uh, we gotta keep him alive, and we gotta keep our our champion alive. We're really gonna rely on our champion to apply a lot of spell weakness. Um. So. That's going to be pretty important. Man, that Ember Drain really is hurting us. 
We don't need to hit him that hard. <laughs> I guess we have no choice but to hit him that hard, which is fine. But I'm just saying we don't... We didn't need for him to be the one tanking that. We need this guy to take a, a bit more damage. I think he still needs to take a bit more even. And sadly, that's that's a pretty rough uh, units to get through. Um, so we want to get as much spell weakness on him as possible. That's for sure. Then I think might as well take that guy out. And then let's go after this guy out front here. Uh, yeah, we don't want to use any of these spells on him because it's just not... They're not dueling enough damage. We need the big spells to really take him out. At least it'll be just him. And I'm really hoping... Do we have 8? I, I was really hoping for more. Oh, we got to 10. Okay. This is cost 0, so let's start here. Oh. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. And I really like that this doesn't get lowered in damage because of the, uh, the consume spells. 12.30. And we did it! That's a Covenant Rank 5 victory as Stygian. They used to be like my weakest clan. And now they've turned out to be pretty darn solid. Wow, well awesome. I'm really glad to have broken that losing streak. We got an achievement for defeating uh, Covenant Rank 5. I'm feeling great, so... Thanks for checking it out, everybody, and we'll uh, we'll see you in the next one. Maybe to do a coming to rank six run. We'll see. See ya.